Side mount escape is part of our basic curriculum, basically illustrate uh, options for the person on the bottom from when they're in position with good frames to out of position. So let's go ahead and start the first one. In position means frames in. One here, this elbow up into their hip, uh, chin, other hand on the hip, okay? Bring my heels in close to my butt. Look the way I want to bridge. I'm gonna bridge, hold open this space, bring my knee in, switch my hips, come around. Sort of the classic side mount escape. Next one, we're in position, same thing. Nice frames, bring my heels in close to my butt. I'm gonna bridge again. This time I'm gonna come up to my elbow. I'm gonna come up to my knees. I'm gonna switch this frame to an underhook. Well, I got this knee. Slide in to a modified casing. Also doing side control. Doesn't matter. Okay. Next. This time we start in position or maybe we start out of position. Either way, we might, we might start in position and bait them by coming out of position to go after that arm. That clears the hook on this head, allowing me the ability to reach under with this other hand, switch my legs like this, spin under, reach up, grab my bicep, rear naked choke grip to the choke. One more time, a little faster. Number four, this time I'm out of position. So I don't have my frames in. Uh, around the head. So I don't have my frames in. Either I made a mistake or whatever, I got out of position, so I'm here. This time I'm gonna put this arm here and walk my hips and my legs closer into his hip, pushing his knees together. Okay, then I'm gonna bring my leg that's on his hip. So the one that's closest to him, up to his hip, bring my left, my other heel close to my butt, and I'm gonna just step over. So I'm out of position. I don't want to just take my elbow and jam it and try and squeeze his legs together. It's going to be too obvious if he won't allow that. So just plank this here, post it here, walk in, bring this leg in close, this one right up against his hip, push off. And grab that leg as I go over into the side control. One thing, one more thing about number four is if I'm in a situation where it is too obvious and he sees what's going on, I squish him in and he rebases, that's oftentimes going to open up room for me to get a frame in here, then I can push out, go back to a version of number one. Classic escape.